it was horrifying. I've never in my life felt like I was going to die until that day. This mother of eight from Lake Butler, Florida, is opening up about how close she came to dying from COVID-19. Janine Starling had chosen not to get the vaccine. Her husband wasn't vaccinated either, or their children. What was it about the vaccine that concerned you, that made you not want to get it? Just that it had not been around long. And honestly, I think I listened. I think I, I think I let people influence me, like saying, oh, you know, that this is the government just trying to fill our bodies with stuff and, you know, and, you know, they're trying to push the shot on us. But earlier this month, Janine's husband got COVID. Then it spread to Janine and their four kids living at home, including their youngest, who is just six. Soon, Janine was struggling to breathe, so they rushed her to the hospital. I remember being very desperate, grabbing the mask and and then feeling, you know, the oxygen come in. Janine spent nine days in the hospital, six of them in the ICU. In those moments when you can't breathe like that, even with all the oxygen they were giving me, it feels like you have a, a Ziploc bag over your head and somebody's holding it. And, um, I mean, I had oxygen on, I was still feeling that way. At 43, did you ever think that you would get that sick from COVID? Mm-mm. I hundred percent. I had had conversations with my husband and said, we have probably already had it. Just didn't even know it. And honestly, he agreed that we had probably already had it. And there have been times I've been sick and I was like, oh, it's probably COVID. No big deal. No big deal? Not exactly. Janine's oxygen had dropped to dangerously low levels just 68%. She says she was told she had about a 20% chance of survival. My youngest baby is six years old. And so when you're told that and you have a six year old, you know, like he's probably, if, if I die, he's not gonna remember me. Janine is speaking out now because she wants people to know how much she regrets not getting the vaccine, a decision that nearly cost her her life. I was one of those people that was like, I can't believe people are just going to just inject their body with this medication. There's, we don't know enough about it. Now I'm just like, it is just a shot. Just get the stupid shot. That vaccine could have stopped all of this. Just one little shot. And I feel foolish that I didn't get it. I wish to God I would have got it. it could have said, it's not just about what it could have prevented me from experiencing physically in my life right now, but it could have saved my family so much heartache. My children from seeing me go through that, my husband, and you know, my siblings from seeing it. So you're full of regret. So much regret.